In this video, we're going to be using K Shaveworks Drumstick Boogie and the Above the Tie SSRH Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, let's get into it. And today is Thanksgiving Eve here in the United States. In other words, tomorrow will be Thanksgiving, which is a huge holiday for us. We have a big feast with family and friends, and it is just wonderful. So today, we're going to use K Shave Works Drumstick Boogie, which I'm not sure they made this year. I got this from the Razor Company uh, last year, and I don't have all the notes or ingredients on it, but it is just a soap from K Shave Works. To me, it's a little on the sweet side. Sweater smells like uh, maybe a pie cranberries or something like that. It's it's a nice, uh, pleasant scent. It doesn't blow my socks off, but it's a nice way to celebrate Thanksgiving Eve today. Again, K Shave Works Drumstick Boogie, and I'll show you a shot of the lather right there. Uh, made a nice lather with it, so we, we look forward to a good shave with it today as we begin to start that Thanksgiving celebration. The razor for today is the Above the Tie SSR. H razor and this is all stainless steel made in the United States. This runs about $185 and I remind you if you make a purchase at Above the Tie use discount code IMCDB and you can save yourself 10%. So if you do thank you but only if you're looking to shop from Above the Tie. Uh, this is a magnificent razor. The H plate is really efficient. The blade gap on this is point uh, eight zero. And one of the things I love about this razor is the Atlas handle which has sort of a barber pearl barber pole type <laughs> knurling and I always like to turn it upside down and do what I call the atlas slide which is I just hold my finger like this and let it slide down it sort of turns itself I'm amused by that and of course you know me I'm easily amused so it doesn't take much but anyway really nice knurling on this razor really nice efficient um, shaver and they have different finishes they have polished they have a matte finish so really a lot of great options that above the time of course if you don't want the H you could go for the M or the R the 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 M being more mild the R being sort of in that middle range they have a lot of options at above the tie the blade for today is the Gillette Nasset and it'll be on its first use so let's get into it today starting with the mister and this is just plain water if you're new or curious and I am just wetting my face the same as if you'd, you know, run the sink and splash water on your face. This just makes less mess. All right, very nice, very nice indeed. A lot of people are enjoying the mister. And remember, I'll link the products below. Today's brush is the West Coast Shaving, if you can see that right there, honeycomb brush, which I like a lot. And we have our HCNC bowl and a nice lather whipped up in it. It is very nice and creamy. It's got a really pleasant scent. Drumstick Boogie. I don't think they made this one this year, or at least I haven't seen it, if they did. And boy, I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving tomorrow. That's going to be fantastic. Um, my daughter and her husband will be arriving along with their daughters. So that's going to be really awesome to have them for Thanksgiving, as well as my brother my sister so that's going to be great and here in the United States and I'm not sure let me know if you celebrate Thanksgiving I know uh, in Canada they celebrate it I think in October if I'm not mistaken September or October it's a lot earlier than ours for us it's a big holiday and then of course the day following Thanksgiving is Black Friday which is a big shopping day in the United States as you know but Thanksgiving is a is a family day a day where family get together and enjoy each other's companies have a big meal Traditionally with turkey, ham, uh, dressing, mashed potatoes, you know, all sorts of other things. Green beans, you know, cranberries, yams, whatever. But it's a feast type meal. And we don't do that um, very often in the United States. Have, you know, a meal that you would consider a feast. But um, Thanksgiving is one of those days where we do. So if you're outside of the United States, let me know. Do you have a Thanksgiving? and Do you celebrate it? It's really, really an awesome holiday, and it sort of kicks off the Christmas holiday as well. Although, as I mentioned before, I'll celebrate Christmas anytime because <laughs> I love Christmas. Actually, 
The time around Thanksgiving all the way to Christmas is just a wonderful time of year that's, you know, you think about your family and friends and, and, uh, I think it's just a great time overall. You know, I could use better weather, but <laughs> it's still a great time nonetheless. All right, let's cut that back a little bit. And we will get into the shave today after we uh, dry our fingers here a little bit. But I will say the above the tie Atlas handle, uh, it has terrific knurling, so it's not really going to matter too much if my hands are a little, a little bit wet. It will be plenty grippy enough. I typically don't have a lot of problems with the grip and razors. And no exception today. And boy, that's nice. The H plate is definitely um, a, a efficient, smooth shaver for me. I like it a lot. I have been using above the tie razors for probably close to 10 years now. Um, as best I can remember, they were one of the one of the first artisanal sort of razor makers, meaning, you know, producing them on a small scale, premium artisanal razor makers, let's put it that way. And it was one of the first premium razors that I had my sights set on. I want to have one of those above the tie razors. And when I got it, I was just so happy. I, the first above the tie razor that I ever had was a Kronos. It was called an above the tie Kronos. It was an R plate. And at the time, the R felt really efficient to me. <laughs> now, of course, I go for the H, but back then I went for the R, you know, or even the M. Um, but as time goes on, things change, folks. So I want to encourage all of you who are new today. So if you get a razor and it just doesn't feel right, um, unless you plan on trading it out, like maybe the company's like above the time they have a satisfaction policy within 30 days and you can sort of trade the head out or something. If you've already bought it outright and you can't return it, keep it around because you might find some months or even a year down the road you come back to the razor and you're like, wow, this thing's awesome. As your technique develops, things will change and your preferences will change. If you're just now starting out, I could just about promise you, you will, um, your preferences will change over time. Things that you love today, or say you're using a super mild razor, a year from now, you might not prefer that. You might still like it. It'll probably still work well, but you might have different preferences. And that surely happened for me. So keep that in mind. It really is a process of sort of evolution. And people tend to start mild, which is great. And then they sort of, you know, they go more efficient, efficient, excuse me, as time goes on. And that is entirely okay. Some people start right at the top end of efficiency and work their way down or stay there even. But preferences will change. Preferences in soap will change. And also, your opinions and thoughts will change as you use uh, more products and have a chance to see how things work. And you might start out thinking X or Y soap is the greatest of all time. And then as you experience more, that will change. And it should change. You should always keep an open mind and be open to receiving new information. Try not to lock in, you know, on things. Just try different things and see what works. Because ultimately, folks... You have to decide for yourself. There's, there's no one who can decide what works best for you, nor is there anyone on YouTube or any of the forums or anywhere who's an expert on what works best for your face. You will become that expert and you will know exactly what works best for you. So don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If you get an exceptional shave from a low cost soap, let's say, and that is your favorite and top base, it is. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So, Oftentimes you'll see these, you know, people fighting over the top base and all that. And I'm like, that's just preposterous. It's, it's, it's ridiculous because it's not a one size fit all hobby, right? So if you say K-Shave works here is the greatest you've ever used, it is. Because your experience is unique to you. And keep that in mind. That is very, very important for me to emphasize. Um, it doesn't matter what I say. That it matters what goes on in your shave, right? So I'm speaking from my standpoint when I'm talking about these products. For example, here, the Above the Tie Razor, fantastic for me, I absolutely love it. But you might get it, it might not be your thing. That's entirely okay if that's the case, you know, no worries. Just use whatever feels great and just enjoy it, that's the main thing. 
But keep in mind when you see like a top bass list, like Lather Hog just recently did a uh, sort of ranking of, uh, of soap bases on his channel. Uh, go check it out. It's a great channel. That is entirely subjective, you know, and I agree with some of it and probably don't agree with some of it. But ultimately, ultimately it doesn't matter because it's his list. It's what he thinks and um, he is 100% right on his list. Now, where it doesn't, uh, you know, where it's not 100% accurate is when it applies to you. So it only um, extends to the end of John's bathroom, you know. <laughs> That's as far as the list goes. Because you may have different thoughts and feelings and... If you do, that's okay. Remember folks, you, you are the expert. And even if you're new, you will be the expert on shaving your face. No one else is. So please keep that in mind. I'm gonna lather up and do a quick cross here. Very nice today. Man, man. Remember, it's your experience. You're in control. You call the shots. And uh, when you say you love something, you know, I certainly believe it. And if you say you get an excellent result out of X soap, then certainly I believe that as well. So don't get caught up in the, the top lists are fun. We all like to do them. But every top list that you see is speaking only from the person making that video. So keep that in mind. Or even an article like yesterday, I saw Mantic 59, uh, I think on his website, the Sharpologist, he was comparing like a holy call bear uh, holy call there's unscented soap to Shannon's nail and Shannon's nail is like a $14 soap and that holy call soap is like you know probably close to $30 or at least high 20s or mid 20s and so those are tough comparisons because one of those soaps will contain a lot of extra stuff um, when it comes to shave though when you looked at his rankings they were sort of very very close to the same the post shave is where the holy call he rated quite a bit higher but he took a he took one soap that was very inexpensive in the base formula and compared it to sort of a premium soap. So you know that's not necessarily an apples to apples comparison um, in terms of the post shave, perhaps. But you know me, I don't care much about post shave. So if I had to pay ten more dollars to achieve a fantastic post shave, it wouldn't matter to me because I'm just going to use post shave products. So um, that's my perspective on that post shave, hanging all the you know. Hanging everything on post shave and saying that that's the greatest, it's, it's uh, for me not all that valuable because I don't care that much about it because again, I'll use post shave products. So you might like that. You know what I always say about um, people who's drone on and on about post shave. I'll say if you want an oil of Olay effect, use oil of Olay. <laughs> Just get some oil of Olay. Don't expect that from a shaving soap. However, if you get it, that's great, but I wouldn't go looking for it personally. Just get the oil of Olay. There you go. Makes you look younger too. <laughs> I think that's what they used to say on the oil of a oil of Olay commercials, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm confused. What can I say? I'm bad at my job. I'm rambling on. Let's do a quick cross here. And this has been a really pleasant shave today. Just want to remind everybody, enjoy your experience and make sure you're in command. Don't let anybody tell you what you're experiencing is not your experience, right? So if you're, if you're, a favorite brand is K-Shave Works. That is okay with me. If your favorite brand is a very expensive, you know, a product that costs $70 for a tub, that is okay with me too, as long as you're enjoying yourself. And if you say it's the best, it is the best for you, I believe you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bringing this to a close here. Very nice, smooth ride today with the Above the Tie Razor. They've been doing it for a long time. And they've been doing it very well for a long time. That's why they're still around after all these years. Above the tie. Sort of a classic at this point, isn't it? Artisanal classic, I would call it. They're one of sort of the old school premium razor makers. And this one today is just feeling fantastic. And that's exactly what I expect. They've been doing it long enough to know how to do it. <laughs> so, excellent. And they probably have some Black Friday sales coming up, so... You might want to keep an eye on that. Actually, most of the shaving um, vendors will will have some sort of Black Friday sale. So check check everyone out. Now's a good time to buy some shaving gear if you're interested. Because things will be on sale and why not spend less if you can. All right, that was an excellent shave and chat. Let me rinse and then we'll come back into the post. Stay tuned.
And all right, we are back and off camera we did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our razor rock alum. There was no stinging there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. A very, very nice shave. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we towed off with a Lancaster towel. Prior to applying the magic made by witches, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber with Aloe, and I love this stuff. It's great stuff. Excellent shave today on this Thanksgiving Eve using K Shave Works Drumstick Boogie. I'm not sure if this one is for sale this year. I picked it up last year, but it definitely puts us in the mood to pursue that Thanksgiving holiday. And I hope wherever you are, you have a great Thanksgiving with your family. If you're celebrating it, I hope everything is great. You have a great meal and just enjoy each other's company. That's really what it's all about. We had a great shave with the Above the Tie SSRH. Nice, efficient razor, stainless steel made in the US. And don't forget, if you make an order with Above the, Above the Tie, use discount code IMCDB and save yourself 10%. Excellent razor, excellent shave. Nasset was the blade. We used our West Coast Shaving Honeycomb Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug, and of course our HCNC Bow, and we'll finish it out today once again with Sterling Mountain Man. We're beginning to work through it some, but there's still a lot in there. And remember, folks, get out there today and lift someone up, say something nice, especially if they're in shaved them, you know, espousing negative thoughts and claiming everybody's going to take. Lift those people up. You know, say something nice. Let's get them where they need to be in a positive mood, enjoying this hobby and, and not always cranky and bringing everybody down. Because remember, if we don't lift them up, we gotta lift them out and we want them to remain here. So let's lift them up today so we don't have to lift them out. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, sure shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.